I'm Dr. Balu Gokaraju, Associate Professor of uh, Computational Data Science and Engineering, Associate Director of Visualization and Computation, Advanced uh, Research Center. Uh, here in this lab, we have lot, several uh, IoT sensor network data that we are collecting uh, all of that simultaneously in real time and trying to store that using edge computing devices. So right now what we have here is we have a, a, light, a LiDAR IoT sensor uh, that is collecting the information and it is showing us uh, in the 180 degrees perspective what are all the obstacles it is collecting here. And uh, we have several of these uh, thermal based profile uh, sensors that we are trying to capture for uh, the study of uh, building energy automation and building energy savings. So we have thermal cameras, uh, we have uh, micro thermal cameras here that are hooked uh, on all the 12, 12 locations of these walls. Uh, so in order to synchronously collect both camera and as well as uh, analog and digital sensing, we have a temperature based sensor with the carbon dioxide sensor and, uh, and a humidity sensor. All of these are collecting the real time information like this. Uh, this is all uh, analog and digital sensing, but whereas the camera uh, sensing is happening from the thermal uh, based profiles, which are non-invasive non of the privacy of the identity information. All this IoT data that we are collecting in the real time, uh, it is a huge uh, streaming and uh, downloading of the data set. So what we need here is we cannot, uh, in order to make the fully autonomous capability of AI models, what we have to do is we have to provide enough uh, security. This whole cyber infrastructure has to be provided very securely and should be trustworthy of the AI models because it is a lot of automation involved. If any one small error, if it skips uh, the whole uh, infrastructure system, that is going to replicate and create adverse effects on the output side. So we create some examples of these adversarial effects uh, in the beginning of the model itself, and we try to capture that in our training. So in this way, we will make our systems cyber secure, trustworthy, uh, and also prevent the attacks in future. Another technology that we couple uh, this uh, cyber security information and AI modeling systems is uh, the runtime efficiency. So the, this huge data, when we try to capture it uh, uh, to have the higher performance on the efficiency, we, we are going to adopt a technology called edge computing. So instead of having all the information upload to the cloud once, we are going to uh, decluster them and we try to solve this edge on the edge devices at a localized uh, computing area. And then we take the data analytics from these edge devices and we upload them on the cloud in order to take a collective decision.